This track was the first track that we explored once we'd crossed to the ferry. Um, lots of conflicting information. When you read Mark Wilson's book, uh, there's some information. When you read uh, Ray Stone's book, there's other information. Neither of them say that you need a key or a permit. Uh, when you Google it, the site, it appears that the track is open. When you get to the track, it says it's closed. You have to drive in probably 10 kilometers before there's a sign that says it's closed. Uh, when you Google it, the Nelson Council say you've got to pay a deposit of 50 bucks and get a key. That's if you start on the Nelson side. We started on the Polaris River side. And in any case, when you get to the sign that says it's closed, it says there's someone that's made a note on it saying it's only closed after the saddle because of a slip. Anyway, we weren't sure. So we got there and we drove probably a kilometer or two up the trail. There were lots of other tracks. So we weren't the first people to drive it for the day. And we were just trying to find out if it was open or closed. I did not want to drive it if it was officially closed. But we couldn't get any information. So after doing maybe two kilometers, we just turned around. Uh, very different to the Cobb River, which I did today. On the Cobb River, just after getting onto the road, there's a big sign that says, yes, it's open. If this track had done the same, it would have made a lot more sense because there is a dock, campsite and information center at the Polaris River Bridge. So they would, they should be able to let you know without too much effort. But anyway, um, it's really pretty, going in is pretty. It's just disappointing that you really don't know if it's open or closed and both books have conflicting information and don't have all the correct information. So before you go, there is a telephone number in the video, um, the 03546200. Give them a call and check if it's open. But that is from the Nelson side. From the Polaris River side, you're going to have to just take a chance. There seem to be some farms that exit off the road anyway. So the road or the track would never be completely closed. So, depending what you want to do, you could probably drive it anyway. Anyway, that was my experience. So, I hope you have fun. Enjoy it. Let me know. Cheers. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time